In this video, let's take a look at the radio button component from Material UI. Radio buttons allow the user to select one option from a set. It is preferred over a single select dropdown where there are limited options to select from and the user can see all the available options. Let's understand the component and its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI radio button dot tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. At the top, I'm going to import the box component and use it instead of the div tag. Now, for the radio buttons, we have to import quite a few components. Previously, the text field component would encapsulate several other components which we now have to import separately. First, import form control which is the wrapper component. Then we need the form label component to specify the label for the group of radio buttons. We then import form control label to label the individual radio buttons. Finally, we need radio group which wraps the individual radio component. So import radio as well. Now let's add the JSX. For our example, let's create a radio button group for the user to select the number of years of experience they've had in the industries. Within the box component, first we add the form control wrapper. Next, we specify the form label. The text is going to be years of experience. Next, we specify the radio group component and set a name. Name is equal to job experience group. We're also going to connect the form label with the radio group using an ID and ARIA labeled by for accessibility. So form label ID is equal to job experience group label and on the radio group ARIA labeled by is going to be equal to the same string. Now within the radio group we specify the labels for the different options using form control label. So form control label is a self closing tag and on this component we specify a few props. The first prop is control which represents the form control component. We're going to set it to the radio component. Next, we specify the label which will be shown to the user using the label prop. This will be 0 to 2 years. Finally, we specify the value which will be tracked when the option is selected. So value is once again 0 to 2. Similarly, let's create two more options for 3 to 5 years and 6 to 10 years. And that pretty much is our radio group component. Let's include this in app.tsx. And head to the browser. You can see we have the radio button group. We have the group label, years of experience, and the three options, 0 to 2, 3 to 5 and 6 to 10. Let's go back and track this selected value. At the top, import, you state from React and create a new state variable within the component. Let's call it value 
the function set value and the initial value is an empty string. Now assign the value to the value prop on the radio group component. And then handle the onChange event. So onChange is equal to a function called handleChange. We can now define handleChange. It is going to be equal to an arrow function which receives the event as an argument of type react.changeEvent of type HTML input element and within the function body we simply call set value passing in event.target.value. Let's also log the value to the console. If we now head back to the browser, open the console, we have the value as empty string, select an option and the value is updated. We can see 0 to 2, 3 to 5 and 6 to 10. Our radio button group is working as expected. Let's now take a look at a few props that can be applied. The first one is on the radio group component. The prop is a row which aligns the radio buttons in a row. Take a look at the browser and the options are now in a row as opposed to one column. Next, on the radio component, we can add some of the previously seen props like size, which can either be small or medium, medium being the default, and color, which is once again from the theme palette. So let's set color is equal to secondary. Take a look at the browser. We have secondary color for the first radio button, whereas primary, which is the default for the remaining two. Finally, if you want to show an error state, you can add the error prop on the form control component. This will change the label color to red. You can see years of experience is now in red. If you want to add an error message, you can add the form helper text component. So import it at the top and below the radio group, form helper text, and we can specify invalid selection. Head to the browser and you can see the error message. This is pretty much the usage of the radio group and radio components from Material UI. In the next video, let's take a look at the checkbox component.